Hey there folks, welcome to Goodworks Tractors. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you visit goodworkstractors.com. Also, go ahead and subscribe below. Lastly, we want to hear your feedback, so please leave a comment in the section below and also give us your thumbs up or thumbs down. Let us know what you want to see. So today we're going to be talking about hydraulic quick disconnects. Quick couplers you may hear them referred to as. Uh, this set here, you can see it's a set of four that's going to control our uh, our front end loader, very common. You might see a different arrangement. Sometimes they're in like two up top and two down below for different models of tractors. Um, but same concept here, no matter what, uh, what model or series we're talking about. So let's get into it here and see what we can do. This tip is gonna be about the proper procedure to disconnect and reconnect the quick disconnect hoses. So make sure you turn your tractor off. And with the loader on the ground, Go ahead and work that hydraulic or your uh, loader joystick in every direction a few times. What that's going to do is relieve the hydraulic pressure within the quick disconnect. From that point, you can simply slide this back and it's disconnected. Reverse the procedure and you're reconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this tractor on now and show you what happens if you, get, if you forget to relieve the hydraulic pressure before you disconnect. Okay, let's make sure we don't touch that, that loader joystick there. Let's go ahead and disconnect right now, which again should be no problem. It's gonna be the reconnecting that's gonna be an issue. Okay, we've disconnected. Let me move this rag over a little bit, try to catch the spill, which that's perfectly normal. All right, let's go ahead and reconnect now. Notice, I am really pushing it in there. Again, I'm doing this one-handed, but uh, You'll see I just can't get that in there no matter what. Okay, so here's what you do. Go ahead and take a rag and put it over the top, right over this nipple here, okay? Cover that up because it's gonna spray all over. There's, there's pressure built up in here. And I want you to take it and push it against a hard surface. You can see that some of that oil right there came out. That built up pressure came out. Of, Lots of times if you don't have it covered up, it'll spray all over. Now, let's go ahead and try this again. There we go. Again, doing it one-handed is a little bit of a challenge, but still got it done right there. Go ahead and fire it back up and make sure it works. Working like it should. Well, there you go, folks. That's a quick tip for this uh, Tuesday tractor tip section here. Hopefully you found this helpful. And next time you're in a jam and can't figure out why your uh, quick coupler won't connect, this will take care of that problem. Again, check out our website, goodworkstractors.com. Hit that subscribe button and leave us your feedback below. Thanks for watching.